Michael, I named her Miranda. You do not get to name my tractor. I do too. Get, this is the only one I can drive. Hey, you can name that blue one over there in front of the shed. I already did. You got none of the animals and I got all the tractors. Not for long. Hey, I'm going to get a donkey this week, okay? Thanks. Bye. Donkey! Donkey! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along our journey, we just moved from our little farm in Southern California to a bigger farm in Northern Mississippi and it's time to buy a tractor. Here we go. So Mike found a couple of trackers that are going together as a pair um, and there's some like 78 or 79 models, I forget what he told me, uh, old Fords and they're, they're pretty cool looking and they all work and function and I think Mike's going to buy them. Tractors are here getting delivered. We didn't have a way to get them home because we sold our trailer before we left to come out here. So we found Ron, who's a local, who uh, hauls around stuff like this. Sid, Mike, and Frankie here, and we are at Chickasaw Equipment because apparently we need yet another tractor. Well, we need to consider the options. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Lots of Kabodis. All the Kabodis. I got distracted by a Polaris. It's pretty. It is pretty. Cost more than your truck. I'll yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a Polaris. Better cost more than your truck. We're not getting a Polaris. Not a new one anyway. We don't know that many people. Who holds in here? We know six people. Do we? Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> What exactly, or what kind of tractor is it that we're here to uh, look you. at? I'll Are you going to take, take your shirt off first right though, right to tell me? <laughs> it's, it's a Kubota. It's an LX2610 SUHSD. And what's special about this tractor versus our other tractors? Uh, front loader, bucket, and forks, pallet forks. What about the knife and the spoon? So you have to bring your own knife and spoon. <laughs> So the LX2610, 2501 are both sitting side by side here. You can kind of see. And they're about, about similar, you said, right? Horsepower is the same. If you start walking around looking at them, you can tell there are some, you know, there's some differences. And you were saying uh, that the LX was a little more ergonomical, maybe a little more comfortable. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, if you just look, you look at the... platform there. You got rubber floor mats and this does not. A little more of a hump in between the floorboard. Right. I mean, and, you know, um, the joystick comes up from the, you know, from the side here. So you could get on and off on either side on that one. Right. But, but 
if you start looking at the front end loader, it's a little lighter duty loader. Oh, I see that. Uh, you know, versus, you know, so, like I said, horsepower is identical, basically. Transmission, you got hydrostat transmission on both of them. Right. Um, skid steer, you know, skid steer quick attach, right. either way. But the 2501. A little bit beefier. A little beefier, yeah. If you, if you are concerned with the lift. Now, let me ask you this. Are, as far as the uh, as far as the the strength of the hydraulics and lift capacity, if the equipment can handle it, are they the same? The lift capacity will be. I can't quote you the number, but yeah, it'll be real close. Yeah. Okay. Um, it'll be. It might. It might be a. You know, it might be a hundred pounds difference or something. But I mean, it'll. So if I was using this to lift a pallet with, uh, you know, three hundred pound, fifty-five gallon drum of feet on it. Not a problem. No, no. This loader, uh, I think, is probably rated for a thousand pounds. Oh, okay. So, I mean, um, now you get a thousand pounds up like you, this, you're you're gonna get unstable. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, just true. moving compost around. Uh, yeah, I think you'd be fine either way. You might, you know, like I said, the LX is a newer series. Maybe a little more comfortable, but it is a little, even looking at the front end, it's a little narrower stance. Right. It's oh, yeah. Slightly, you know, it's a little narrower stance, and it's got a smaller bucket. Yeah. Again, I, um, Definitely a smaller bucket. Kind of now, the question yeah. is, is that a good thing, though? If I'm doing a compost, you know, and I'm building, and I'm building, you know, slots for compost, do I, do I want a bucket that big and I have to build a larger compost pile? Or do I want to be able to build a compost pile that's, you know, closer to, what is that, about five feet? I think this one is five and a half, and this one probably is five. I have to double check. I that. could lay down in it and tell you if it's five <laughs> feet or not. <laughs> uh, um, that might be it can carry a grasshopper. Drop the pin where you want it. It's kind of locked in. That one has turnbuckles. Right. It's a little, not quite as easy to adjust, you know, as just dropping a pin in like this one. So you can argue that, yeah, stabilizers, you know, are a little nicer there with the telescope. Right. And this one, as far as driving it goes, hydrostatic. It's basically an automatic transmission, right? So you got you've got four three ranges here. So you would, you know, select high, medium, or low, but then forwards and backwards is just pushing the pedal. Yeah, just pushing push the pedal something. forward or pulling them backwards. So then this is brakes on the left? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it is weird. I agree. Uh, I do agree. But that's, And are those brakes tied together? They are currently. You've got a little deal there. Uh, you can undo them if one's stuck. But yeah, okay. you, can, you can undo them so you can you So can you turn. can steer yeah. if you want to tear the turf up real bad. This is all for your PTO. Uh, so three point hitch, four wheel drive. Uh, the PTO was actually on this side on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's PTO. PTO there. Mm -hmm. Lift the three point yep. throttle. Yeah, you still have a hand throttle, so keep a current engine and PTO speed for. You so know, my, my, my forward on my gas down here is going to be contingent upon where this is. Sort of. You smart your ground speed? Yeah. You can pull your engine all the way wide open, but you can still control speed just by how far you push that pedal down. So, right. Yeah. And then the further wide open I am here, the more I'm getting out of my PTO in the back. Correct. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And is it diesel? Yes. Yeah. Oh, diesel, good. It is, it is diesel. Yeah. It is okay. power steering. Uh, yeah. I was worried about being a little on the smaller side. I might be. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's diesel. Sure, yes. You could drive the like pretty easily it's just easier to drive than the zero turn actually yeah <laughs> yeah i would agree yeah yeah, yeah the hydrostat transmission for an uh, inexperienced operator it is it's the best and hey you are welcome to drive either one of them if you want to i mean if you want to they don't have fluid in the rear tires right now so they're going to be a little bouncy and you know may not handle quite like they would but you know you're welcome to drive them around. I mean, 
Yeah, let, let's take this one for a drive. I think I'm definitely leaning towards this. I think I want to Google the upsides and downsides to the bucket difference. But right away, I'm leaning towards the narrower bucket because I'm going to use that bucket a lot for composting. And I don't want to build too large of a compost bin because the wider you go, you still got to get it tall enough to get hot. Yeah. So, okay. I kind of like the little bit narrower bucket. And I can grab a tape. We can put a tape up measure on it and just see for sure. I, I, I think it's 66 and 60. Okay. But we can, we can measure and make sure. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah. Let's spin this one around a lot. So no clutch. So just right, no clutch. So this this lever has to be in neutral. Got it. Um, and I don't think you, so. The brake is locked. Brake is locked. Okay. okay so that's like the like brake. Yeah. And we're sitting on a hill, so we'll hold on. Yeah, the biggest thing is gonna be if you're if you're using a pallet jack on this or pallet forks on this and you're lifting a 55 gallon drum on a pallet getting used to this I mean it, it wants to jump it, it, it wants to you're, you know I think yeah. get getting used to just barely easing into that movement um, but I mean seems like it'll do everything we want to do what do you think about it I mean, it's a tractor. It is a tractor, barely. Yeah. It's a small tractor. <laughs> yeah, but it does all the things that I need on the it farm. It does all the things that I can think of that we need to do for the next couple years anyway. Okay. And the only thing, I, I don't know that I would try to drag a disc with it, but got that yeah. got that forward. And frankly, a five foot disc, uh, you know, a small, it might pull it. Yeah, it should pull up. Yeah, you got four wheel drive. It'll pull a it'll pull a five foot disc. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't be any problem if you want to. We get we get we get really liking this thing. We may just go ahead and sell those other two tractors and get our money back. <laughs> I knew that yeah. was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's all right. Live and learn. We got a good deal on them. We did. I and mean, we're not going to lose money on them. Yeah. Even if we sell them. All I right. like the paint job on the Ford better than the orange Kubota, though. I will say that. <laughs> you know, I Cooler like the looking. I like the old look. But you can take tracker. this one deer hunting because it's the right color. It won't get shot by accident. You know, but you won't. This will run all the deer away. Yeah, I know. It was a joke. He breaks home. <laughs> this right here. Good question. Clear this. Uh, yeah, I don't think Kubota offers a, a, a mount rifle for that, scabbard. But, but uh, we can get yeah. creative and mount one up there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen one that for the for the ATVs or the yeah. UTVs that mounts up above you like that. Mm -hmm. 12 volts right there. Nice for a pump or whatever back here. Yeah. How are you going to get it home? I'm hoping we got you're going to get it home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Free, free delivery. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. check in. Yep. Yeah.
Just check in. I don't know if this is going to be a slow ride with my flashers on behind him. <laughs> yeah. I think honestly it would make more sense to pay when my truck lease is up to buy my truck outright and not have an interest rate on that at all to worry about and to then finance, finance this at zero makes more financial sense to me yeah we, we'll look at that this week okay. when your truck's up i think that lease is up in like three months it's may 9th it's mother's day <laughs> it was mother's day weekend like three uh, years we'll ago we'll crunch that between now and the first but let's plan on let's plan on let's plan on making this happen on that monday okay it's a date it's a date uh, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good yeah i like it so we just looked at the tractor i think like they were saying we're gonna wait until the beginning of October to really look at it uh, and see like and, and go ahead and get it then um, so still just he's gonna you know just kind of well he said sure they changed their um, their, their financing they, they changed their, their deals uh, when when new deals roll out it's always on the first, the first. of October so yeah. we're gonna gamble that they're not gonna offer a lesser deal than the one they have and that there's a chance that they're going to offer a better deal, an extended yeah. period for the uh, zero percent financing. So, yeah, it doesn't hurt us to wait a week. No, and we see if we can get spread it out from 48 months to 60 months. That's, right, that's a big deal. Because with, with zero APR, it makes sense for that because then we've got we're not paying interest on it. Right, it's free money. And then when my lease is up on this truck. Free loan, not free money. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not just handing out money. But then when my lease is up on this truck, we can just go ahead and purchase it, not having to worry about financing the truck and paying a finance on that and do it that way. Yeah. So then we're not having multiple monthly payments. Right. And we still own the things. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going? Well, we finally pulled the trigger. We got us another tractor because apparently we need all the tractors. <laughs> so this morning we went down to uh, Chickasaw Equipment and talked with our buddy Daniel and he got all the paperwork filled out and we got ourselves a nice little Kubota tractor to add to our collection, the two other Fords, which Mike was just moving them around to make room under the overhang for the new tractor and all of the pieces he got to go with it. So let's go talk to him about exactly what pieces he did buy. When I say pieces, y'all know I mean attachments, but they're pieces of equipment. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, senor. Yeah. Can you tell me about your tractor? What, what, what are you doing? I, I can try to tell you about it. I don't know that much about it. It's blue. It's got black thing behind it. That's the bush hog. That's the bush hog. I knew that. Yeah, they're both dinosaurs, the tractor and the bush hog. And the man who drives it. Oh, now. snap. I got too many tractors. Well, that's the problem, right? Yeah, now. we got the zero turn. Right now, that horse trailer is not going to be there much longer. Um, it's just there for now. So it's going to go back to where it lives, <laughs> to where it lives. <laughs> at our friend's place. But we got the other Ford over there. He's moved this tractor out of the way. That Ford started up. So quick. Just a first yeah, turn. It, that so, one, I mean that thing runs like a top. It does, it does. It just needs a new tire. Yeah. But I I don't know. Here's my thing. I should sell it because I don't need it. But it runs so good. But it runs great and it's a Ford and it looks cool. It does look cool. I'm having a hard time well, selling it. They both any of look these. cool. I mean you're definitely gonna keep this one. Well, for now. The game right plan is I don't know. keep this it runs great uh it's got you know 40 horsepower on the pto if i ever need something with a little more oomph than my kubota this is category one three-point hitch with a pto i can leave this dinosaur of a bush hog attached to it and anytime i need a bush hog just use this tractor that way the kubota is for my other rear implements and if I ever need something that needs a little more oomph, I have this. The plan was to sell that one, the Selectomatic. Because it, it slices, it dices, it's a Selectomatic. Right. It's basically yeah, their the, yeah. the 1968 or 70 something, 70 right? something yeah. version of the automatic, where this is a straight shift. It's systematic. But it's hydromatic. It runs too good. I don't want to sell it. Slack. I don't know. 
I don't know what to do. Well, you can't keep all the tractors. Eventually, we're gonna get them run hey, out of room. You can't real, keep all the animals. He's a real farmer. Eventually, now. we're gonna he run out of room. Get rid of his tractors. That's fine as long I, as I get to have all the animals. You tend to have all the animals. It's not true. I have like none of the animals right now. Well, you just got well, some yesterday. Normally, That's you true. have all the animals, and I have none of the tractors. <laughs> right now, we got a little roll reversal going mm -hmm. on. You got none of the animals, and I got all the tractors. Not for long. Okay, I'm gonna get a donkey this week, okay? Thanks, bye. <gasps> donkey! Donkey! Pretty sure we hear the tractor coming. Oh, yeah, here comes my other tractor. Here comes the newest addition to the family. Hey, Frankie, can you move this truck? Yep. You're gonna need to back it up. It's pretty. I'm gonna name it Miranda. Frankie, that's good enough. Where's she going? She hasn't quite figured out where the truck is yet. There it is. There we go. We got the good people here at Chickasaw Equipment dropping off the Kubota. Michael, I named her Miranda. You do not get to name my truck. I do too. Get This is the only one I can drive. Hey, you can name that blue one over there in front of the shed. I already did. Yeah, you're not naming any of my tractors. I name everything. This one's pretty. It is pretty. It's brand new. It's like orange is the new black pretty. It's little. It's ready for prison. It's little. That bucket's all the bucket I need. Look at the job done. Look at all these pieces and parts. So what all got delivered today, Michael? Because I know you... The tractor's got a bucket on it. Yep. Inside the bucket is a bale spear. Yep. Underneath the bucket, tractor doesn't have a bucket on it. Tractor's got, got a the fork. pallet fork on it. Yep. Bucket's sitting on the pallet fork. Bail spears in the bucket. All of those. It's like ne tractor Rus Russian nesting dolls yeah. over here. All of those uh, go on and off the same way the bobcat implements do on the front. Two levers and just lift it up and then latch it on. So they're pretty easy. These other implements are for the uh, for the three point hitch on the back. So this is the tiller, right? This is the rotary tiller. Mm -hmm. And then on the back of it right now is the box blade or box scrape. Gosh. So, and then the other piece that I'm going to get is the grapple. But he's got to install a, another piece of hydraulic that's called a, a third function. He's got to install that. There's a little box thing there. Nice. Mike's excited because he thought he wasn't going to get it till tomorrow, but it yeah. came a day early like Christmas. So you got a tractor for my birthday, so I don't know. What do I get? I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know where there's a Ross around She here. gets a puppy. She gets a puppy. She no, a I, I need a donkey. Why do you need a donkey? To protect the birds. We don't have any fencing for a donkey. Right yeah, we do. Right there. That's not enough fencing for a donkey. It's plenty of fencing for a donkey. Nope. It just needs a gate. That's all it needs. No, I could, we'd have to go check all the fences. You know what's interesting? Close enough. I have zero experience on one of these. I got a little bobcat experience. I have zero experience on this. So the next couple of days are going to be hilarious. <laughs> That's accurate. I am going to just tear stuff up learning how to That's finesse accurate. this. We're not going to have a lawn anymore. It's already dying. I'll but... keep it out of the lawn. I know. He's gonna be doing donuts in the pasture. I've been watching people pasture. use that box scrape for uh, for like leveling, like where we're gonna put the coop. Mm -hmm. And I see some guys that are really good with it, and other guys that just tear everything up. So that's me. Uh, yeah, I'm probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I do not have high expectations for the first twenty or thirty hours in the seat of this thing. Mm. Just takes time to learn. I say like a week. Like a week, at least. All of this all together costs as much as my truck. Uh, no. Yeah? All your parts, if, for me to buy my truck after the lease is up. Oh, 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 for you to buy your truck three years old after the lease is up, yeah. buy it out, yeah. Yeah. If we were just to buy your truck outright, no. I could have got a lot bigger tractor. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Good job.